Hey guys, what's up? So, since uploading my song lyric prank video, I have gotten a bajillion, quadrillion questions on how I recorded the screen on my iPhone. Um, I didn't expect to get that many questions on it because I personally just Googled it and found the answer. Um, because Google has the answers to everything. <laughs> um, so in this video, I'm gonna show y'all how I figured it out. Okay, so I personally have an iPhone and I have a Mac laptop. And so I used my Mac laptop to record the screen on my iPhone. I'm sure the method that I use can be used on other electronics, but this is the method that I did, so I'm gonna share this with you. And I don't think it's the only method out there as well. But this is what I did, okay? Here's my Mac. This is my Mac, guys. <laughs> um, Literally, I'll be I'll record the screen so that you guys can see what I did. But first thing I did was go to Google. Okay, so everybody go to Google. And then I typed in how to record screen on Mac. And this is how I also figured out how to record my actual laptop screen to show you guys. And literally it told me to use QuickTime Player. So the way I'm recording my screen right now, my Mac screen, is on QuickTime Player. And literally you just want to have QuickTime Player pulled up. If you don't have QuickTime Player, download it. But I'm sure most laptops and desktops come with QuickTime Player. But because my screen's already recording, this area cannot be clicked on. But all you do is go to File and click on New Screen Recording. And now to record the actual screen of your iPhone or your phone. You want to get your MacBook and get your iPhone or I'm assuming Android could do this too, but get the USB or charger of whatever phone you have and stick it in the USB. And then you want to get your phone and sorry, I don't have a lot of hands. And plug your phone in. <laughs> and plug your phone in, okay? So now my phone's plugged in. As soon as your phone's plugged in, then you can go back into QuickTime Player and that's where you will go to file and then record new movie. If that's what it says, I don't remember. Yeah, you will go to file and then new movie recording and then your iPhone will pop up on your laptop. In order to actually start recording, you need to push record on the new window that popped up that will be recording your iPhone. Does that make sense? So as soon as you hit record on that new window, QuickTime Player is recording whatever it is that you're doing on your phone. So it's really it's really that simple, guys. Um, your phone just needs to be plugged into your laptop. Also, you will see that the time on my phone is different. It says 941. It's not 941. I don't know why the settings automatically go to 941 AM on this. A lot of people were telling me my prank was fake because the time on my phone said 941 and that my phone was 100% charged. That's just an, an automatic setting that is placed on your phone when you're recording the screen of your iPhone. It's not literally 941, I don't know why it does that, okay? <laughs> but yeah, it's that simple. When you're done recording, just put stop. You'll save your file as whatever you want, wherever you want. Um, and same goes for you recording the actual screen of your laptop. Super, super simple, guys. <laughs> so I hope I explained that well. Please share this video with other people who you see asking this question because there isn't really many videos out there on YouTube that show how to do this, which I'm surprised. But that's it for this video. I hope that you guys found it very helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. And if you didn't, keep your thumbs to yourself and subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.